I'm about to move into some voice work practice for myself and there was just a moment where I felt the beginnings of disruptive thought trying to hijack my <laughs> my time that's coming up um, and it's related to when you have a break from your practice or your routine and perhaps there's a recognition or awareness that maybe you would like to have been doing it more often, more regularly, uh, have more discipline and more commitment. And life does happen and takes you on lots of journeys moving up and down. So it's to be expected that disruption can uh, happen and, you know, take you out of that uh, regularity or consistency and that is something that I have experienced with all of my instruments, all of my practices, all of my routines, all of my hobbies, anything that I've ever been uh, connected to creatively. Uh, it is an experience and it is a common one as well and as time goes on and I'm learning more about uh, myself and what uh, motivates me and moves me towards something and what deters me and moves me away uh, from other things as well as generally reflecting on how I learn and how I play and how I explore and starting to build a picture of what that looks like for me as not just a practitioner, but an individual and a human being. Um, that is an interesting space of awareness to be in. And then there's this other element that I would like to touch on, which is where I felt called to just drop in and share this. Um, yeah, this this niggle or this like, oh, you know, you're you're about to do your practice, but oh, you've you've not done X, Y, Z for a while or um, you've not been consistent with this particular um, aspect. And that's like coming in right before you're about to give yourself that quality time and that space and maybe a younger um version of me may have been ultimately deterred by that narrative um, because it's kind of that self-sabotaging element that comes in and tries to kind of usurp your good intentions and um, it would be easy to submit to that and to sort of just give up and let the wind go from underneath your sails and kind of think oh well you know what's the point and actually is it going to be worth it um so i was i was just kind of <laughs> observing that uh coming in this morning and just yeah kind of being like okay thank you for making yourself um known and expressing that and um also not wanting to completely negate or suppress that voice or that narrative that is ultimately bringing attention and awareness to a part of yourself that feels like it's been a little bit neglected. Um, you know, it's it's almost like the what about me um, kind of voice coming in. And actually, I have an opportunity to meet that with uh, a bit of compassion and a bit of understanding, maybe even invite that part of me to come into my practice space and actually sit and be present with it. Maybe use that as a starting point to um, check in when I'm navigating, okay, like what are my energy levels like? How am I feeling? Um, what is my direction of travel for today with practice? Um, 
and simply giving time and space for that part to be heard, you know, that could unfold a very specific um, route way in terms of how the session unfolds or it might fall away after it's been acknowledged. Uh, that remains to be seen. So um, there, there are several ways to approach that and work with that if, um, if that feels useful and helpful. And the other thing was just around, yeah, that, that kindness and that compassion to yourself of acknowledging like, okay, I'm, I'm actually about to go into my practice space. This is my time. This is my sacred time, perhaps. Um, not necessarily from the point of view of it being a, a spiritually oriented session, but you know, any time that you are taking to dedicate to your personal development, I consider to be sacred time. So like this sense of trying to reframe and give acknowledgement and thanks and gratitude to yourself, like even before starting, just to try and set the tone in the way that you feel is going to be most helpful and not necessarily productive in terms of uh, meeting a goal or target or output, but just being fully present in that time and that space that you're setting aside for yourself. And the other thing that came up also was there is enough uh, judgment and shame in uh, the different structures that we interface with on a daily basis in society, in culture, in our interpersonal relationships. And therefore, I felt very strongly this morning, like that may be a flavour that is, uh, seems to be omnipotent uh, at times and quite oppressive but I don't need to embrace that in my uh, my own thought processes or my own uh, perspective on where I'm at when I'm thinking about my trajectory, my vocal journey, my voice as it is today. Um, so not dismissing it uh, as I articulated before of, you know, just being aware that there's something there underneath that that maybe is trying to be communicated, but also uh, not giving it power, I think, um, is key. Not letting it inflate and grow and become um, something bigger than it is. So yeah, today, <laughs> my intention to move into my uh, flow with voice work is that shame is, there's no place for that um, because that's counterproductive to what I'm really trying to explore, awaken and um, yeah, get into <laughs> with sessions. So yeah, you might hear an update from me later on about how that went, um, but I just wanted to share those reflections uh, today. Take care, enjoy your practice time.